Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another film review. Uh, tonight we're looking at a, a modern sort of horror film by Ty West called Pearl. Now, this is a sort of prequel film to the film X. It, 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 lightly based sort of prequel. And it's about um, this um, German family living in America during 1918. Where they sort of like, you know, it's World War One time. And they're living in America and it's it's a father who's severely sort of disabled in a wheelchair. He can't sort of speak or move. And a very strict mother and their young sort of, I say young, she's probably about sort of 16, 17 daughter called Pearl. And she, and they live on a farm um, in somewhere in, in America. And um, Pearl is supposedly married, um, and her husband is at war. Um, so I think there's a bit of um, hostility there going on with, with that sort of thing because of like them being a German family and them being an American. Um, and Pearl sort of um, is going under the guidance of her strict sort of mother and sort of and helping out on the farm. And doing sort of things, but Pearl, Pearl seems to have a few mental health issues, and this does tackle a few uh, mental health issues of like um, um, it's a bit of a split personality. She sort of flips quite quick from being quite nice to quite sadistic sort of thoughts. And um, that is one part in the film when uh, what uh, a goose comes into the barn and she's sort of. Um, spears it with with like a, a farm sort of fork and she takes it down to their local sort of lake which is next to the farm where there's a there's a, an alligator living in and she feeds the, the the duck or goose to the crocodile so she's got a little bit of a sadistic sort of um nature to her but then she can be very very gentle and very feminine uh, and she's very interested in dance and she really wants to be sort of like a dancer and she sort of like dances around uh, around the barn and sort of things like this and she talks to all the animals and then she sort of almost f gets finished she, she acts like the animals are actually talking they're not talking to her but can understand her um and and she thinks that they're sort of responding to her. Like the, if the cow looks at her, she thinks she's staring at her. So she's got a little bit of paranoia going on as well. And this is probably down to her strict sort of like uh, upbringing. Um, anyway, her mother's quite strict and keeps laying down the laws with her. Don't do this, do that, do this. And she has to help out a lot. Um with her father helping him like feed him and, and wash him and things like that and um she and she's quite bizarre there's some parts of the film where she's in the bath and her dad's in the wheelchair in the same room while she's sort of naked in the bath and she's talking to him so there's all these sort of strange sort of things going on and um it, it, it's very very sort of strange her her behavior and I, I, I struggle with putting sort of like, what, what's going on? What, why is she behaving like this? Um, and then she sort of like, um, one day she's got to go into the town to sort of like uh, do, do some sort of uh, chores in the town. So she cycles off to the town and... Um, she she's and she's got a thing with the cinema because they have sort of these dance sort of films and so she goes she sort of sneaks in or, or she buys a ticket with the change from the chore and she goes um to see this film and then after the film she starts speaking to the guy that works there the projectionist who seems to be coming on a little bit to her um saying she can come back anytime she likes and see any movie whatever she likes and he says to her look you you got off you know and she speaks to him saying that she helps look after her dad and stuff like this and he goes well yeah that's cool but you really must make sure you live your own life too um which in a way he's got a point um but i always think family first 
But anyway, so that that's that's see, he's so having someone like that in her life, sort of influencing her by saying things like that, is not really a good thing with her. Um. And another day when they're at the farm, her sister-in-law and that turn up at the house. And her sister-in-law tells her about this um, this sort of um, dancing auditions that are going on. Where they can be going on like a tour around the country. And Pearl's really up for doing that. So her sister-in-law says, well, you can come with me and we'll do it together sort of thing. And so she's got this sort of plan going on with this. Uh, but then her sort of... Uh, conscience grabs her and she starts thinking well I can't I can't just leave my dad or and leave my mum looking after my dad because you know he can't do nothing so all this sort of conscience comes about her so she goes back and pays another visit to the guy in the cinema who shows us who shows her a, a sort of 19 I don't know 1900 porn sort of video it, it was quite it was quite explicit he shows her this video and um he says well this this is going to be the future of the cinema and this is the stuff i want to get into so i think this is where the connection comes with pearl um because it, it has sort of things like he wants to start like a porn sort of company um and do films like that and he seems to be working his way around pearl saying oh yeah you can one day be in films i would pay to watch you in that sort of film Anyway, so she 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 leaves him behind, and she, oh, she actually says to him that she wishes her parents were dead, because obviously then she won't feel so tied. Because again, he keeps saying that she's got to follow her own dream. It's her one life, and she's got to do what's right for her. And so, her being the sort of sadistic way, we see her a bit later in the film revisiting the lake with the crocodile with her dad in the wheelchair. And she's just about to sort of um, tip him in. Um, so he's going to become crocodile sort of food. But then the mother turns up and sort of stops him. And the mother really does make her life quite difficult throughout the film. You can see why she's probably feeling a little bit this way. I mean, there's one scene when they're having dinner. And the mother notices that there's about eight cents missing from the change. Um, and she said, yeah, I used it to go and see the, f the film or buy candy, yeah, to buy candy. So she takes her dinner off. I said, well, well, as you've had candy, that is your supper. This is not your supper. You're not eating it. And and so she makes her sit there and watch them eat. And, she, and she's really hungry, but she won't let her, let her eat. So she's quite strict and sort of like really keeps sending um, Pearl on these sort of errands. And that's what I'm going to tell you. Does Pearl have enough? Does she finally flip and her sort of mental health issues all take over her? And does she does she get rid of her parents? Does she follow this guy that works at the cinema and get into the sort of like the porn sort of um, film sort of thing? Or is she going to follow with her sister-in-law around the dance sort of thing? You've got to remember, this is based in 1918. You need to watch it and find out. What do I think of Pearl? I thought it was amazing. I thought it was a really cool film. I thought it was ten times better than X. And that's how much better it is. It's really, really cool. Uh, the pluses of the Blu-ray, it looks stunning. Beautiful visuals. It looks amazing. Um, and Mia Goff plays a really well good part as Pearl. She's really, really cool. It's really good acting in the film. It's a believable story. Um, and it, it must be difficult for a German family living in America um, in, in the war because they've been sort of victimised and sort of left alone and sort of things like that. So uh, that's a really cool aspect to a horror film. Uh, negatives... Um, I can't really see any. It is a little bit of a slow burn. It does take a little while to get going, but when when uh, it does, it does. So it's it's a really cool film, and she's really really cool. So I'm going to score Pearl an amazing watch and give it a nine out of ten. That's how highly I thought of it. I thought it was a fantastic film, really well sort of. Uh, conceived idea so much better than x uh, uh, me and 
uh, Malad agreed with X that we quite enjoyed the film until the set the sex aspect come into it, and it, that just sort of ruined it um, and stuff like that. We, it didn't need it. Um, where the sort of aspect of sex in there, because she's quite sexually frustrated, as as you see in one part of the film with a scarecrow, uh, but it's done not over the top as as X, so it's it's a bit more sort of tasteful, I think. Um, so you you know, it's more passable, so much better than X. You know, I was always dubious about watching this, but then I thought, you know, I, 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 a lot of people that I sort of follow said yeah it's so much better and they're right it is pearl nine out of ten any of you guys seen it if you have let me know down below what you think of it it's a really cool film ty west seemed to pump both of these film out in quite a short space of time um so but they're both similar so i'm hoping if he does make any more horror movies which i'm sure he will he takes a little different direction um, because I don't, I, I don't like um, uh, directors that follow the same suit. That's why I really love directors like Eli, Eli Roth because all these films are so different from the other. They don't follow like a sort of a sort of suit of, of movie, and that's what I really like. Even John Carpenter, although there's similarities in a lot of them, mainly the soundtracks and the cast, they're all completely different stories, and I like that about a director. And this is very similar to sort of X, but not as, not as, but better. Guys, till my next uh, video, check out some horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs, Pizzle Well, I'm the Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, and Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. Until next time, and a massive shout out to the boy. Nearly forgot he's in our mate, but I didn't. Till next time, look after yourselves. Look after one another and I really hope I see you all soon.